This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games. Lesson 9, which is Sprite Movement, Part 8. Diagonal Movement. Updating only X and Y properties of a sprite can only make it move straight up, down, or left and right. If you want a sprite to move on a diagonal path, you need to update both of those properties, so both X and Y. And remember, the property is when we have dot something. So if our variable name is mouse, a property of mouse, well, here's one, dot scale is a property. Mouse dot X would be a property. So you need to update both properties. Let's see what they mean. This program currently makes the mouse move straight down the screen. Does it? Oh, yep. Oh, it's kind of an adorable mouse uh, down the screen. Can you update it so that it moves diagonally across the screen like the image to the right? Challenge. Can you make the mouse point in the same direction? Ooh, well, let's first see if we can do a diagonal thing. So it said we need to update both properties. How can we do that? If you're thinking just changing these, nope, those are just the starting ones. I can already see that they make the mouse's Y property change. So if we need to update both, let's go over to math. Whoop, I lied. Let's go variables is what we need. And we're going to use this X thing. And then, just like above, mouse.y, except this time, and that should be in sprites, we need X. Drag that. You got to get the corner for it to work. Yep. Sprite X. Except, it's not sprite. We named our variable mouse. And... Math plus whoop, hopefully. We need our variable again, sprite, well, our property. Sprite.x is what we're looking for. Because we're now doing x, they already did y. Change that to mouse. And if they added 2 to y, let's go ahead and add 2 to x. And, um, well, let's see what happens. Ooh, I think that's, okay, so we got the diagonal movement. But can we make it point in the same direction? Challenge time. All right, let's do a bit of rotation up here. Now, if you don't want to do this in the loop, because then it's going to rotate every time, right? So if I do, oh, well, that will set it just to five. Regardless, you want to set it up here. You don't need it to change its rotation. Um, and I'm not sure if this is zero, or 360, 90, maybe 180 over here. So maybe 145. I really don't know though. I could have gotten those rotations wrong. Let's, well, let's test and see. Oh, is rotation, well, oh, okay, let's see. Oops, let's see. Oh, mouse. Oh yeah, definitely not that way. All right, so what's the opposite of 140? Well, we don't want the opposite. We want to double it, I believe. Let's try 290. Nope, too much. Okay, bit of trial and error here. Let's see 260. Let's see 320. Oh, that looks... Is it? That looks great. Okay, so this is my code and looks to work. Great, let's keep going.